Good morning, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Underwood. This is your instruction for your Think It Out Thursday. Today we're focusing on subtraction. Remember, when in subtraction, you start with a larger number, you take away another number, and then you find your difference. Look at the paper we have here. This looks fun. It has a lot of desserts on it. Ooh, I love desserts. Your directions are sub solve the subtraction questions. Take a look at the pictures and then take a look at the number sentence that appears next to them. So I see one, two, three, four, five delicious looking muffins or cupcakes. And I see five right here next to it. And it says minus two. Remember that minus sign means take away. So how do we show we take away? We cross them out. I'm crossing out two. Why am I crossing out two? because it says take away two. Five minus two equals, let's find out the difference by counting the number of cupcakes that are not crossed out. One, two, three. Okay, I'll do one more with you. I'm gonna jump down to the ice cream cones. Right here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I see seven ice cream cones and check it out right there. Seven minus four. So that means we are taking away four ice cream cones. So it's like if you had seven ice cream cones and you gave four to your family members. So I X'd out four ice cream cones. Let's see the difference. One, two, three. Remember the difference is how many you have left. Okay, remember to show your subtraction, show your takeaway by crossing out using X's. Now I'm going to go down to your next page that you're going to have to do today. We're still focusing on subtraction, but we're using a number line this time. See this line right here at the top with the two arrows and the number 0 through 10 on it? That's called a number line. It's called a number line because it's a line with numbers. Ha ha, kind of like a math joke. Look at the first one. Two minus one equals blank. All right, so you start at two, and I'm going to go back. I'm going to take one away. I'm going to go back one. Remember to go backwards since we're using a subtraction sentence. And I landed on the number one. Okay. Now i got to get my eraser, and I'm going to erase that. I'm going to go back to my drawing tool here. Okay. Let's do 5 minus 5. See it right here? 5 minus 5. So you start at the 5, and then you count backwards 5. And I like to draw so that I can make sure I'm actually going the right way, and I'm taking away the right amount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh. Look at that, I landed on zero. So five minus five is zero. I'd like to try one more with you. I hope I have time. I only get five minutes to record, so I hope I have enough time. We're gonna do 10 minus seven. So we're gonna start all the way here at 10 and take away seven. We're gonna go backwards while counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. I landed on the number three. Ten minus seven equals three. All right, boys and girls, I want you to answer all of those subtraction sentences. Do your best coloring. Send me a picture on messages in Dojo or through your portfolio, and I will give you a green point. Bye!